Good morning, good afternoon. I am so delighted to speak to you today on this 50th Jubilee we are about to celebrate. It was 50 years ago that you were formed. You were formed by an Irishman named Terry Lynch. But after a short while here, he got cancer and I'm afraid he died. He's buried in Nogales. So then the founding pastor of this parish, I guess after that, was Monsignor Bob Fuller. He had the vision. He had the, the opportunity to bring about a church that would represent Vatican Council. So then Bishop Green appointed him, and with the help of Sister Navita, they began the work of forming a parish on the core of Vatican Council II. You may remember that he brought in Jesuits to help them mold a community, a community of people, a community of worship, and the great, great idea of a community of service. They established new organizations to minister with fresh ideas. Hermanos was a program to help people in South, South Tucson. Samaritans to help the poor locally. Our pastoral council, Our Lady's Boutique. I think what was so unique to St. Pius was the fact that St. Pius X absolutely had a youth ministry and dedicated to a youth program which has lasted all of these 50 years. But then when Monsignor Bob was called to establish and form parishes throughout the United States, Father Brian Bell became your pastor. After many years, he resigned to become a chaplain with the Air Force. Now he's actually a par pastor in Scottsdale, Arizona. I see him often when he comes back to minister for friends, especially funerals and baptisms, weddings. So then for a very short while you had Charlie Bass. He was appointed by Bishop Moreno. He served with gusto and he kept the ship riding. This is when the Knights of Columbus became part of this wonderful community and are right now all among us. I am the fortunate one. I arrived among you in 1992 with a well-established modus operandi. I have felt at home since Monsignor Cahalan introduced me. This is my home. You call me Father. All I have to do is serve, listen, guide, and celebrate the Holy Eucharist with the power that comes from all of you. Uh, so how do you want people to feel when they walk out of this church after? Oh, I want them to know that they've had an encounter with God through Jesus our Christ, and that when you cross the threshold of this church, especially this one, um, the first thing you have to do is walk through the baptismal. And then you have to walk by the cross. And then you have to be nourished by the, um, by the story of Jesus' presence on earth called the gospel at the amble. And after all of that is done, then we have an offering that represents you, whether it be $10 or $100 in the basket, it is your offering from your priesthood to make a difference in the world. And then we have the, the Eucharistic prayer, as I said, that, that comes from your power. Your power with me. All, I, all I'm doing is leading you in the action to which you are called to do because you are a priest and a prophet and you are kingly or royal because you are children of God. Each of you are a blessing 
Each of you are a treasure. I miss you when you go to Ireland, and at the end of the month, I am chomping at the bit to come back home. We are St. Pius. We know our mission. Let's continue to live it with every breath we breathe. It is actually the breath of the Holy Spirit. I love you. In every age alone.